Oncology TV here at ASCO 2015. I'm Thomas Baldrick. Joining us now, Dr. Julie Bramer from Johns Hopkins University. Thank you for stopping by. Hello, thank you. So let's talk about this phase three trial of pembrolizumab versus platinum-based chemotherapy as first-line therapy for patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer that expresses programmed cell death ligand one. Um, would you begin by just explaining the mechanism of action with pembrolizumab? Sure. Pembrolizumab is a PD-1 checkpoint inhibitor, so it binds to the PD-1 receptor on the T cell in order to block the checkpoint or the pathway called PD-1 pathway. And so by blocking that pathway, instead of the T cell binding to PDL1, one of the ligands to PD-1, uh, by blocking that binding, it allows the T cell to remain activated and able to have its action against the tumor. What was the primary purpose for undertaking this study? So the primary purpose is really to look for a group of patients who really don't even need to receive chemotherapy. The goal, the primary objective of the study is to look at progression-free survival in comparing patients with a high expression of PDL1 on their tumor and whether or not pembrolizumab outdoes standard chemotherapy in that group of patients. So how have you done the study and what are some of the key findings you've gotten? Well, it's early on. This is a trials in progress poster uh, that will be presented. And so uh, what we're seeing is that as patients are entered on, their tumors are tested. If their tumor expresses uh, in a hundred tumor cells, if 50% of those cells express PDL1 on their tumor cell surface, then they're allowed to be randomized to receive either pembrolizumab or standard chemotherapy. And uh, the chemotherapy um, is investigator's choice, either gemcitabine and platinum, or pemetrexid and platinum, or taxol and paclitaxel and carboplatinum. Um, patients are um, given on the standard chemotherapy arm are allowed to remain on that for between four to six cycles and then they can go to maintenance therapy. On the pembrolizumab, they're given the pembrolizumab as long as their disease is under control for up to 35 cycles, 35 treatments. So, and it's very early on. Uh, we're not yet fully accrued, so we're looking at, uh, for patients to be able to go on to this trial. And again, C, is there a group of patients um, who would not have to receive chemotherapy and have their disease under good control for a long period of time? Any new expectations or questions you have based on where you are at this point in time? I think based on where, where we are, the question again is, is this the cut, right cutoff point? I think uh, looking at the PDL1 biomarker, at least from the previous trial, the Keynote 001, it does look like this is the right uh, cut point to use to really find those patients who would maximally benefit from this type of therapy as a single agent. Um, and again, we're hoping to bring this type of therapy to the first line treatment setting. Dr. Bramer, thank you for updating us. And Come back again when you have more to, to share, would you? I can't wait to come back to, to show you the final results. <laughs> Good for you. Thanks. Thank you.